re mi chord is a new archetype that is going to be uh, an interesting one to play. Mario and I are going to fight each other with some, some little magical girls, or musical girls and stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Basically, they're a bunch of musical note musicians, and they, uh... A pendulum, so let's see how... Actually, I do notice that, actually. Why are there so many, like, pendulum archetypes that are, like, around music? Because pendulums are kind of commonly used with music to keep the tempo, so... Theoretically, makes sense. Why mechanical dinosaurs, though? Pendulums are mechanical by nature. Makes sense. What is your I, I can't keep this up forever, I'll be honest, fucking try. All right, let's start clicking uh, cards and seeing what Why happens. Why were there demons in there? Oh, okay, so we click this one. It's a seven scale. Cool. And uh, let's uh, see what else we can do. Oh, this, this one's a two we... scale. Is this, a, is this the first time we're using pendulums in this program? Um, Probably not, but I'll probably I just use Dynamist at some point. Plus, it's constantly that... updating. Yeah. I do notice. I did just notice the seven and the two, like ho hovering to remind you what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, that that does that. Okay, that's that's cool too. I guess um, it's fine. I, I want to do that. So now we're gonna activate this on this side. <laughs> Once again, I ain't reading no cards. I ain't like that. And we'll uh, activate this one over here. Yep. All right. Cool. Things are going so well. Oh, I think I see the gist just seeing the first line of this. So we're going to Pendulum Summon. This one, and this one, and this one. Fapam. Oh, that's defense mode. Oh, well. Fabling. And Fapoom. Ooh, that does look nice. That one activates. So I get the Search a Card. Um, is there like a Field Card? Yep, we're going to search the Field Card. The art of playing a deck without reading any of the cards, guys. It's important. <laughs> you know, there's an order of operations. You do all the uh, activated effects first. Then you go for your normal summons. Then if you search, you search for a field card. <laughs> Alright, activate. Sure, here we go. That adds the uh, that pen, that uh, thing to my hand. Great. We're going to activate this card now. And then we're going to attribute, uh, in this case itself... With that, we can special summon a different one. Well, you know, what, what notes do we got out here? We got soul and C. Um, let's uh, you know, let's let's go with this one. It's a big, powerful one. So, special summon Do, and we'll activate ray. this again. Oh, is there a ray on the field? Do you see a I ray? Do, on I, the field? I will. I do see. I do see. I do love this field card at work, though. Just the super erratic of it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It makes absolute no oh, sense. It is kind of terrible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, so we'll click that, and uh, I guess that means I get to do something with this card. Cool. Um, I can normal summon this. Uh, that might be okay. Let's see. You can, If you have a Doremi card in your pendulum zone, you can special summon this. You can then use it. All right. Sure. Flop that card out. Great. Uh, I see there's no extra deck for this made. Oh, that's fine. Uh, that's probably all I can do, and then we'll just see what happens. Great. We did things. Let's see, now these are fairies. Okay. So, yeah. So, each of one of them are fairies, so. Let's some see. of the fairy extra deck stuff might be viable. Mm hmm. Although they all have, like, varying levels, though. Mm -hmm. All right, what's this one trying to do? You can target an effect monster your opponent controls. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And if that card will leave the field, banish it instead. Okay, sure. We'll, we'll wait on oh, that. Oh, wait. This this card has a benefit, actually. You can talk... Or if you have an even pendulum scale in your pendulum zone. Ooh, okay. that's an interesting mechanic. Okay. Yeah. Evens and odds. Mm-hmm. You can target one face of spell or trap card they control instead. Mm -hmm. So that means I can potentially target one of your pendulum zones then. Possibly. Let's try this out actually. So I'm gonna set the that right there. Sure. So that way we have a level eight. And oh, so let me activate. I can pendulum summon, yeah, but 
it's not letting me activate that effect. I think you are looking oh. at a monster effect, to be fair. Yeah, I am. I am, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, because I have the same one on the field right now, and I was reading the same effect. And I was like, why is he talking about it as if it's his thing going off? That effect, okay. though. <laughs> that little special... That animation, though, yep. bringing that out. <laughs> well, you didn't see it when I did it? No, it kind of, like... It kind of lagged for a few seconds, so it just popped up almost wow. all to the car. I see. That card came out just as mine did. Um, I can activate this now. I'm gonna wait. So I don't see any threats yet. I now I'm gonna activate. Act Ooh, I can activate this. Sure. What am I doing? It's the first time I saw that one being able to be activated. Okay. I destroyed my card, I think. Yes, <laughs> you sure did. All right, let me see. Let's see. Quick effect. Man, these long effects. Oh, you can destroy that monster. Okay. Less than or equal to the highest pendulum scale in your... Oh, man, these effects are weird. They're so specific with the levels and scales. Mm-hmm. Like, this, is, this could potentially be one of the best or worst archetypes to play. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, yeah, I think we'll just chill on that because it's not going to do anything just yet. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... Oh, so you got some of the back row early. Neat. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use my Dreamia. Yeah, sure. To destroy your Dreamia. <laughs> Might as well. Um, and yeah, I don't think this will like destroy you. Yeah, it's only if you get destroyed, you're banished instead. I mean, I'll use it on you just to see it anyway. I do like this. Uh, I do like how they all have the same similar effect though. Of uh, you cannot negate the summon of your Pendulum Sump monsters. Mm-hmm. Alright, activate that effect. Not yet. We'll get to banished soon enough. Alright, but I got this card. Uh, another Dreamia. Sure, why not? And let's see, what can this do? Add one face up thing from the extra deck to my hand. Great. I can't really. Oh, no, that's true. If I do uh, add it to my hand, we should be good. Um, oh, there's th three effects. Okay, I can add. I can increase pendulum scale of one in my pendulum zone. Neat. Oh, uh, so if you need to change uh, evens to odds and stuff like that, the field card lets you do that. Okay. And this will let me destroy a card my opponent controls. Neat. But I'm just trying to see what the cards do first before I start stopping that from being a possibility. So we'll activate that. And that will let me add to my hand uh, one of these two cards. We'll add the tougher one. Great. And then activate nothing. We'll then go ahead for our nice little pendulum summon. What can, what can this guy do? I don't know. We're finding it out. Um, I negate a card. Okay, I guess I just negate things, period. Um, sure. What am I doing? Oh no, I think I might be doing something bad. Uh, I can activate this. I'll return to the deck of that. Okay. I think I ne Did I negate my own pendulum zones? I yeah. negated your pendulum stuffs. Okay. I think that's what my effect just did. Okay, and uh, I guess I just cancel out some effects. I can normal summon this if I tribute, but I might as well pendulum summon. Do thoughts. And I might as well activate this on that. Cool. What do you do? Activate on... Oh, I tribute a monster. Okay, uh, well, let's tribute this one. And I can bring out... Oh, shuffle it for one of my tougher ones. Let's bring out this one. Oh, is that just the one I already have out? It is, but it's a tougher one. So it's pretty cool. And... Yes, hold on to this card in hand. That's how I can just bring it out for free. So yeah, I think there's definitely a lot of room for Link monsters in this deck. So it can uh, make a little more use of its pendulum stuff. And, you know, obviously it can summon things pretty easily. Just start launching some attacks. Anything in your yeah. back row that's going to save you? Nah, it's the same repeat of the uh, formal thing. Mm -hmm. So we'll just launch the attack so we can refresh, start it up again. We're starting to get an idea here. Okay. Yeah, same. Mm. So, very powerful monsters at least here. What you want first out? or second? Um, This time I'll take the second turn. Alrighty. Let's see. So we can do that. Activate. Oh yeah, it's just in the pendulum zone. We have all spells and traps chilling here. Fun. 
Um, ooh, but this is a perfect one to kind of remedy some of that. We can uh, put a monster in the zone. So, what's a nice little scale here? Ooh, you're scale one. That sounds fun. Uh, now I want an even scale on the other side, I imagine. Uh, fortunately, we got the field card, I guess. And not much else, I'll be honest. Uh, we can't really summon that. Uh, but that is like, yeah, we don't want to do that necessarily. That for next turn, but maybe this, yeah. And then what can this do? I can add a face-up pendulum monster from my extra deck to my hand. Can't do anything with that yet. Increase scale, can't do anything, and I do not control more than three. So I think we're just running dry here. So I'll end my turn. Much okay. wetter hand last game, but this will have to suffice. Okay, let me see. Mm-hmm. Alright. Set up for two. Uh... I need a... Mm, has to be in between. I always have to remember that uh, in between cards need to be like... Uh, yeah, activate. Oh, wait, no. I was trying to use that as a... Okay. Ah, yeah. There yeah, when go. I first saw the activate on it, I was like, I don't want to set it as my pendulum. I want to summon it. And it's like, oh, well, this works anyway. Okay. Um, and then I play my field spell, which is just a copy of yours, so... Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to do anything in this opening turn. It is a little weird, though, looking at that field now. It looks too naturally cut right there. With the, uh, with the two field spells. <laughs> I guess so. Alright, Pendulum Summon. Bring out the Gracia. Everything in the field spell is kind of already overlapping itself, so... Yeah. Alright, add a, add a spell of trap to the hand. Let's see. I will say, this isn't suffering from the mirror match, however. The mechanics no. don't seem to counter each other out completely. Yeah, that's been an issue, hasn't it, in the mm -hmm. past? Uh, okay. Let's just go for some damage. Sure thing. Oh! See if I can get myself a monster to summon. Or uh, multiple things, really. Yep. Because as I said, we're sitting on a lot of spell and trap cards here, which ain't the worst, but ain't, ain't the best. Just imagine you found just imagine you found a way that you can make this uh make this work with counter fairies, and all of a sudden you're able to multi summon. I don't see that necessarily, but I know there's some decent fairy support cards. Could go well. Oh, okay. So, if I control enough pendulum monsters that equal a odd number, mm -hmm. so like 7, 11, 13, 19, I can target one card in the field and destroy it. <laughs> oh, you have three odds, huh? Nice. Oh, I hate that. I. It's such a weird thing. Oh, the levels are odd, okay. Yeah, when Not it, the, the total... When the... When these, when it all equals an odd number, they oh, it just odd or, that have odd or even pendulum scales. <laughs> What's the point of specifying that? I don't know, honestly. But hey, and at, at least, but at least you have to keep track of like, okay, if I add this one, it gives me all, even numbers. I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> it's just odd or even is fine. Yeah. Other cards, it'll matter, but. Not necessarily that one. All right, we opened up with two of these, so we can at least set up our pendulums. Um, so we have one. Where's my eight? Uh, right there. That'll do it. There we go. Activate a card or effect. Now we can do this and activate one of these effects based on the uh, pendulum scales. If I have odd, I can special summon stuff from my um, extra deck. Okay, so we don't want to use that yet necessarily. Oh, I can use this and target and destroy something you have. We might wait on that. First, let's pendulum some of what we got. We got some decent monsters in our hand. So we'll flop them out. Pop, pop. And now you get to activate. Sure, what do you do? Um, oh, great. You add another card to my hand. Well, pff, I'm going to uh, get that field card again. Let's see, activate a card or effect. Yeah, sure. Might as well activate you. 
And yeah, we'll get you out of the picture here. Activate a card or effect? Nah, we chillin'. Alright, activate field card. You chilling like a villain, or are you chilling like you're about to murder? I mean, look at these characters. They are super villains. They're all musicians with cat ears. How much more villainous do you this, get, Mario? This is this is a pat deck. <laughs> it kind of is. All right, let's uh see. Do that. I can't activate the third Wait, effect. Wait, that's not cat ears. Those are just those are just in things behind their head. They don't. They're like yeah, little they're... harps behind their head, actually. They all happen to look like cat ears. Look, this one has cat ears and harps behind it. <laughs> look at my uh, one in the uh, pendulum zone, the, the scale one. The little one on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one's more fairy wings, though. For the big one, at least. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Yu-Gi-Oh just couldn't resist. They love all their right. cat. They, they've been loving, like, their anime girls as of late. Uh, okay, <laughs> I so will I'm just changing that. level here. Activate a card or effect. Um, do I just... No, we should just wait. Be patient, yo. And then the other effect. Nothing really to activate. Because nothing's going away just yet. So, we'll go to battle. And we'll attack this, which should then banish it. Yeah, that works. And we'll attack that, which should send it to your extra deck. Like a normal pendulum would. Alright, we'll hold on to that as a uh, backup plan. We'll chill here. Let you keep your pendulum zones, and I'll end my turn. There we go. Alright. Now let's see. Um, I drew another field spell. Oh, fine. Uh, okay. Activate this. I think that allows me to get this back to the hand at least. Sure. That I think this one allow me to get. Okay, I choose this one. What is that? Did I change that to a nine? I think so. Yeah. What did, exactly did that do? I'm just clicking things to see. Yeah, no, and it's that the second effect just changes the level of one of your scale of one of your pendulums. So. Increase the pendulum scale of one of your cards in your pendulum scale by its level until mm -hmm. oh so added the level seven to the nine okay yeah or i guess the three I, to the six rather yeah okay so that i actually quite like that because if you have like if you have uh two of the same copy cards but you still have the field spell yeah you can still make use of them yeah you can use that level two not to mention the way their levels vary it seems to vary widely <laughs> so support that yeah Seems like you can turn any of these into a 9, really, from what I'm looking at. Because all their scales seem to correlate with their level. They all seem to add up to 9 um, between their scale and their level. Yeah, because the, the highest level ones are the lowest scales, and vice versa. And then my level 5 on the field is a scale 4. Yeah, that's on purpose. That's cool. So as long as you have low scale monsters, you're all good I, to go. I like that, actually. Not gonna lie. Yep. All right, so he sets his fortunately, scales. Fortunately, I do have one downside though. Mm-hmm. The two cards I drew off of that off of that uh, <laughs> gamble was a scale seven and an eight. Yeah, and you've already used the effect. Uh, well, it's not gonna help you with, with high scales anyway. I wish it could do the reverse, honestly. Mm-hmm. Ha! Huh, I replaced the field <laughs> spell with another field spell. Fantastic. Nah, you're just that you're getting better, better cards, and I have no idea what the properly thing to do with this deck. And it's so confusing. Okay, do this. Mm. Uh, okay. Let's so you can target and destroy, I suppose. Oh no, you can just use the first effect here. Sure. All right that effect yeah it's not gonna do anything probably but okay I choose that one yep so if I leave the field I'm banished okay uh, all right um, let's see so my draw was a little weak I don't have any extra deck monsters and this is a very basic normal summon but 
It is a normal summon with an effect. So, we'll do that. And I just select when your cards are returned to the hand. I'm gonna uh, force you to keep those awkward pendulums down there, I suppose. And we'll just send no, that back to your hand. You don't have to do I that. I could have just sent one of those back to your hand, so when you do draw, you might get better odds, but we'll be rude like that. And what we will do is I'll activate my Butea on your Butea. And then we'll combo up with my Do Re Mi chord, mus Musica. And we'll target and destroy that so it'll, in fact, be banished. Nice. And then we'll battle stuff. Attack a nice empty field. And I think that should be plenty, right? No, it's not. It's close, but it's not. I live! You do? Huh! See, your weird harp girls aren't strong enough to take me down. Sure. And I just drew nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Only you are strong enough to take you down. There you go. Yeah, no, I just I drew another of the trap cards, but I don't think it's gonna do anything. So let me see if yeah. I can, think I'm gonna see if I can do. Yeah, do that. Add to the hand that card, but mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. Honestly. Yeah. Trap card when you got the proper support, it's a nice juicy target and destroy, but without Yeah, send back to hand oh no. Yeah, that won't exactly work because your pendulum scales, you can just reset them. Your field spell, you can just Yeah, everything's reset resettable with how this deck is working out. I like the deck so far, I will admit that. Mm hmm Yeah, it seems like balanced is a word I would say. Doesn't seem like overpowered by any means, but it seems to cover a lot of bases. It's not like a complete and utter toolbox by any means, but... Yeah. Xylo Zy 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 took a look at the deck just beforehand when I was talking about it, and I was like... Mm -hmm. And Xylo said, it, it looks weird, but we'll, pl we'll try it out. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a case where, you know, sometimes when we mirror match the decks, I like to take a peek to see what the deck's all about at first. Then I saw this and was like, nope, I'll figure it out in the duel. I'll figure it out in the duel. <laughs> Pendulums, <laughs> long effects, you know, complications, but... Like, I feel like we're already getting the basics of it down. So, um, we'll just go for an attack. We don't need to make sure you're banished. I, we should be able to clear it right here. So, boom. And, oh, did I not deal damage? What? I don't know what I did, but I attack again. There we go. Would you like to go for a third round, or will that be sufficient? That'll be sufficient. I think we've shown what this deck can do, and yeah. honestly, honestly... Um, if we ever do another arch type tournament, this might be one of those fun sightings options, honestly. Yeah. See how far they can do. I can definitely see myself playing this deck again. I like music and stuff. Yeah, what's your instrument again? <laughs> All of them. I have a bad <laughs> habit of it, collecting instruments. Can you play an actual xylophone? Uh, let's see. Um, we'll play a little bit of... And then, over here I got a little... So, just within my arm's reach. Hold on, there's one more. I actually I want to hear you, I actually want to hear you one day, just give me like an epic... It's a one-man band. <laughs> that, oh, you should definitely get one of those kits where you just... Oh yeah, the just... Instrument strapped to the... you. Oof, yep. That'd be cool. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not great at any of the instruments, I'll you know preface with that but i do enjoy playing all of them but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this new archetype i think it's pretty cool if you have enjoyed it let us know what you want to see it face in the comments down below and maybe we can make it happen leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else and we'll see you next time see you folks